Did you know that less than 10% of all e-commerce brands are actually on TikTok? Look, I feel like right now TikTok is a little bit like the crypto of two years ago, where everybody thought it was already too late to hop on the bandwagon, but things were just getting started. Today, I'll be sharing with you the reason why thriving brands are on TikTok, why they're making the switch, why is it worth it, and why are people even exploring that platform? Look, it's not just a platform where people dance anymore. You can make some serious money and get some incredible results if you play the game right. My name is Justin and I'm the founder of Wuzzle Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. Before we get started, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, as well as turn on post notifications to be one of the first to know about these cutting edge e-commerce marketing tips posted on the channel every week. So first things first, to kind of prove the stat that I just said at the beginning of this video, here's a website called Store Leads where you have a bunch of e-commerce brands on that website and a lot of stats on these brands. So if you look at the total amount of Shopify stores that have a TikTok pixel, right? So meaning they've either already advertised in the past, they're currently advertising, or they're potentially thinking about advertising, doesn't necessarily mean that they've ever advertised. There's about 108,000 total matching domains right now for that search. So basically, let me just copy that aside, actually, so we can do a little bit of math together in the upcoming minutes. So about 108,000 stores with that. And if we remove the TikTok pixel from the search, there's about 1.9 million brands on Shopify. So if we divide this essentially 108,000 brands divided by 1.9 million brands, that puts us essentially at roughly 5.6% of all the brands basically that exist on Shopify have a TikTok pixel installed. Now in comparison, about 841,000 of these stores have a Facebook pixel installed, meaning about 50% of the total Shopify stores have a Facebook pixel installed, meaning there's basically a 45% difference if we're thinking about that between the two. Uh, it, there's a huge difference in the amount of people that are on TikTok versus Facebook or even Google for that matter. So TikTok is still very untapped as both an organic channel as well as a paid ads channel. The app platform was actually just released about a year ago, right? It was released in end of 2020, beginning of 2021. It was actually in beta phase at first and that essentially transitioned to being open to the public, but nonetheless, still a very recent ad platform. And right now, it's the same as everybody who hopped on a Facebook ads in about 2014 to 2015. They benefited from incredible success afterwards. You saw amazing brands coming out of that phase, right? Like brands like Gym Launch from Alex Ramosi. They basically just got started with Facebook ads during the prime time of that period. And this is how they made a lot of money. Same thing with ClickFunnels, right? As a software, they started advertising heavily on Facebook as soon as it became a mainstream platform. So the early adopters are the ones getting rewarded in the end. And anybody who's hopping on TikTok right now will be benefiting from lower CPMs, greater ad results, and just overall just an edge on their competitors. Because again, only 5% of all stores have a TikTok pixel versus about 50% when it comes to having a Facebook pixel installed on their store. And again, to hammer down the comparison even further, right? Look at it, Pinterest, who, you know, by, by any means is very not a mainstream platform. It's been existing for a while. There's not that many brands on there. Still has about twice as many people on the platform as there are on TikTok. About 10% of total brands have a Pinterest pixel installed on their website. So all of that to say, again, just to hammer it through once more before I switch to another point in this video, but TikTok is very untapped as of right now. It's not too late. We're about a year to two years from being too late to hop on the platform. We're still in a very, very good time for any brands that are thinking about hopping on there. This is the time to do it. Now, the second point I want to mention in this video is the gap that TikTok is bridging between the creator economy, the sort of brand economy, the advertisers, as well as the consumers. So Facebook and Instagram have been talking for years about the creator economy, right? It's about these influencers coming up on there. This is what they mean by creator economy. It's basically people making money out of creating content, which has become pretty mainstream when we think about IG influencers or YouTubers and so on. But 
TikTok is really one of the first platforms that really bridges the gap and it creates this sort of economy and this sort of system that works well across all of their three branches, right? From a consumer standpoint, just you can have a lot of pleasure going on TikTok, right? It's fast paced, you have a lot of content, they have the best algorithm out there. It's like a YouTube recommendation, but in live action. So it's very, it's based entirely on your preferences and your behavior on what content you interact with. And man, if you've ever been on TikTok, you know how accurate their for you page is. So nonetheless, this is what they're playing with in terms of algorithm from a consumer standpoint. So consumers see the type of content that they want. Brands are able again right now, as I just mentioned, there's such a small pool of brands on the platform yet that they're able to have incredibly low CPMs. They benefit from the same insane engagement that a person could get on that. So brands can also have essentially, it's one of the first platforms that brands can produce content that is more like an investment than an expense. And let me hammer this down and give you an example. In the past, you know, brands, the only place where a brand could really build a community was pretty much Instagram. So Instagram was the more the, the most personal aspect that you could have for a brand through the use of stories. Whereas, you know, brands couldn't really be on YouTube. Creators could be on YouTube and creates again this close proximity with their audience. But now with TikTok, this allows brand to create a huge sense of community and to benefit also from content that the for you page will push for the brands, as long as the content is good and performs. I still personally have videos that were posted over two years ago, still get views, likes, and comments to this day. And it's the only platform right now that allows brands to get this sort of engagement and long lasting effect with their content. It's not just like Instagram where you post one piece of content, it dies off within about 24 to 48 hours. TikTok will still push your piece of content for days, months, and years to come if you have good content. So incredible opportunity for brands too. And then if you, if you think creators, again, it's 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 a no-brainer, right? It's so easy for creators to, to hop on trends or to create their own trends, to use sound, to collaborate with their community, to create videos out of comments. Look, TikTok emphasizes the collaboration of creators with their platform. And they've even created the creator marketplace where it's very easy for brands to get in touch with creators. So it's basically a three-way triangle, right? You have creators on one end, you have brands on the other one, and you have consumers on the other, and they all kind of interact with each other. And TikTok, again, really nailed that. So that is one more reason why brands like yours should hop on there, because you need both when you create content. You have your consumers, and then you have your creators. And it's the same thing, you know, from any business standpoint, right? You have your sort of inbound and outbound in a sense that you have on one hand your flow of clients and on the other end your flow of team members. Well, think of it the same way with TikTok. TikTok allows you to have your flow of clients, your flow of consumers, as well as a flow of creators that can power your brand. So TikTok allows you to have an inflow of both parts that you need to create a strong, thriving brand. Now, also TikTok, you know, they have their newsroom uh, TikTok.com website where they share a bunch of news. You can basically see that they do constant updates, like basically about once uh, every couple of days, you know, once every four to five days, they make a new updates. They have a new feature, something being launched on the platform. And those are usually public launches that are appearing right here. But basically almost every single day, they have these soft launches happening for features for big creators or big spenders in terms of uh, the paid advertising part of things. And they constantly are testing beta aspects or beta features to their ad platform. So meaning that they're actively investing in the success of their product. So this is a brand that is still trying to figure their position within the market and still actively trying to create new features and coming up with very incredible features that brand can use. And the thing with TikTok is that you benefit from using these features. Whenever you get access to beta features on their paid advertising platform, you basically benefit from usually lower ad costs because they see that you're, you're, you're basically opening yourself to testing out these features. And so you benefit from lower ad costs. You're one of the first essentially to be able to test these features. And once they release publicly, chances are you are gonna be able to use them. So if they ever see the light of the day again, because a lot of features sometimes they just disappear, like they, they, they make it to the beta phase, but then they don't ever make it to the public, but still, as somebody who's advertising on TikTok, somebody who spends quite a lot on TikTok, you're gonna be able to benefit. 
from these beta features on the platform, allowing you again to have these lower ad costs and be one of the first to test them and basically have your brand and be a pioneer when it comes to new features. And again, people will be sort of delighted when they see these ads of yours that are using these new TikTok features. So look, as a bit of a recap, again, there's such a small percentage of brands on TikTok. There's about less than 5% of brands right now that are on TikTok when it comes to Shopify specific brands. Uh, if we look at all total brands on WooCommerce and everything, it's actually a bit of a lower percentage overall. So around 5% of brands are on TikTok only, such a huge untapped channel right there. The platform is bridging the gap between consumers, brands, as well as creators. So that way you have an in the flow of both, which are both aspects that you need for your brand. And finally, they release consistently new features, you get lower ad costs, and just in the end, you benefit from better ad results. Now, if you're an e-commerce better store owner, I invite you to click on the first link in the description down below to book in a very short 15 minute demo call with our team. On that call, we'll take a look at your brand and see if you're a good fit for our e-commerce TikTok program. And if that's the case, we'll help you scale both organically and with paid ads on the platform. And worst comes to worst, we'll leave you with a free action plan to implement on your own. So on that note, make sure you check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.